And Uganda with the led by Michael Okoraj. This is a must win game for Uganda if they want to keep their chances alive of getting into the main cup. For South Africa, they've won two out of two. A win here will cement their place at the top. And they look to see who they play tomorrow. They've been very professional in how they've approached this tournament right from training yesterday and even how they've approached how they play today. The facilities may not be what they're used to in South Africa when they go across the world, but they've not let anything like that affect them. They've just got on with the business. Selwyn Davids to kick off. Well taken by Norbert Ken. Massive tackle from Cecil Africa, but he looks to have damaged himself. Oh, for Worth with a kick. Chasing back hard is Grobla. I think two South African players arrived there at the same time. Cecil Africa still hasn't moved at all. And it's a penalty to Uganda. Oh, for Worth takes it quickly. Could this be the first score of the match? Stepping off his left. And over. Joseph Arredo. Could we be in for an improbable result? Let me not speak too soon. It's just a minute gone in the first half. But a good try by Uganda. Playing to stay alive. Well, kicks like that will not keep them alive. Arredo with a good step. Selwyn David's not able to take it. Despairing tackle from MP Visa. Well taken. Cecil Africa seems to be back on his feet now. So it's awful worth to kick off. And Bogwa the David. Visa. The power man. South Africa turned to. Leave it. Leave it. Never got on side, Aredo. First mistake, tackler roll away, yeah? This is quite a feature of how South Africa play their sevens. Even when they're behind, they still take their time. They know there's time on the clock. So they're very tactically aware of what needs to be done in matches and at what time in the game. Cecil Africa. Visa. Oh, well taken. Okay, but it's Cecil Africa with that trademark shift. Selwyn Davids running into his own man. Release now. No hand. Leave it black. They've got a lot of width to play with South Africa. Straight and step. Away. It's interesting how South Africa advantage can sometimes employ the power game. Referee playing advantage. Oh, lovely line. What a pass for Selwyn Davids. Grobla. <laughs> in with his first try of the game. Captain, Captain Black. Captain the baby Black. of the team was playing schoolboy rugby just last year. Oh, Graduated from the Blue Bulls Academy. Very big unit. Definitely one for the future. A mark of a good team is one team that can actually reply to any effect of them going behind and immediately the Uganda scored the South Africans came right back at them to score under the posts that's the mark of a good team and he needs all seven players on the field to be mentally in sync to be able to work that effect Okoraj takes for Uganda off or what oh that's a good pass is he going to go all the way <laughs> yes he will thank you very much Solomon Okia Look at what it means to the Ugandans. Adrian Casito and the rest of his teammates. Well, well. Tolbert Onyango knows there's a long way to go in this game, but he too must be happy. 
quite a jolly fellow not to see him smiling means he's quite tense Arredo successful with the conversion finishing in style how quick is Okia because that was selling David who he just left in his wake that's an excellent kick into touch touch so is Wapi just holding on and keeping it ten, get ten. so two minutes to go in this first half channel block, channel block. that score is not Let a mirage it is indeed okay. Uganda 12 South Africa, the favorites, in the top seeds in this tournament, seven. <laughs> it is true. Oh, for what? That was not the best option to take. Okay. Okorach, the captain. Can inspire his team to go on strong. No one's giving an inch in this game. Steadman guns. Was that a knock on? Unfortunate. Just like when Uganda looked to be building some momentum. These conditions are difficult indeed as they are, and getting a pass at that height is not easy. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Still Uganda 12, South Africa 7. If Uganda can hold out and stop South Africa from scoring just before half time, they will go into the second half with a lot of confidence. Just hold. Listen. Hold your weight, and that is the last one you get. I think a bit of gamemanship going on in the scrum as Uganda did not hold their weight and tried to pull back. Well spotted by the referee Mbugwa. Hold it. Hold it. It's nine. Uganda need to be careful. They're not penalized. Stay. Advantage of side. Advantage. Bucks didn't stay five. Guns. So he's happy the captain. Steps through Casito. Steps through another one. One to beat. Cecil Africa on the inside. Shows, goes, and scores. <laughs> So he's happy with that try. Looks to be feeling his hamstring slightly. Hoot has gone 12 12. Perhaps there is time for the kickoff. Cecil Africa. Not successful. That also is happy. Took one in. Captain. Second tackle, despairing tackle there Captain. from Aredo. <laughs> and Offerwolf did his best to keep him out. It's 12 12. Uganda playing for their lives to stay in the main cup. South Africa looking to see if they can get to the top, stay on top of the pool. And in. Let's bring the last one down with a smile. We love what we do, ladies. Yes, with the ghost boys. And in.
So both coaches are very calm in uh, how they are addressing the players. I think that is probably the right approach at halftime because the heart rate is up, pulse is up. Sometimes saying too much at halftime uh, may not have the desired effect. So this is the pool South Africa, Uganda, Morans and Burundi. And um, South Africa looking to stay on top of this pool. Uganda fighting to see if they can stay in contention for the main cup. Or for what to kick off? Nothing between these two teams at the moment. Selin Davids. Uganda's defense still keeping shape. That look forward. An excellent opportunity for Uganda to attack early in the second half. Can't they start the second half the same way they started the game in the first half? Crouch! Set! Hold it! Hold! Nine. Clean ball for Uganda. Okorach. Still probing. Nicely taken by Ogena. Oh, that's the cheeky kick in behind. Yes! And it's that genius, Adrian Casito. What a try! By Okia scoring his second try in this game. It's Uganda who started the second half exactly the same way they started the first half. Aredo unsuccessful with a kick. Wow, this is very good vision. Knew there was no sweeper. Was they down or pressure? We play on. Go forward. And, and that's a huge mistake. Let's kick the ball dead. That is a free kick. Selin David's looking up. Seeing the space and he's gone. He's gone. Oh, so he's happy with a no look pass. No point to touch. No point to touch. What are we doing? Line out, scrum down. Okay, scrum down where the knock on happened. Mark is here. It was on indeed. Right? Guys, I want another scrum run just like the other one. Okay? Steady and stable before the ball is it. Seven now. Crouch! Very clear explanations by the referee on his expectations of the scrum. Aredo. Seem to get caught in the mud. Very interesting if Uganda can just stay ahead. Still a lot of time to go. That looked like a knock on referee is happy. That's around the neck. No hands, leave it yellow. Leave it. Lofro was looking to probe just close to the breakdown. Flag. Yes, the flag is out indeed. I think Visa could be in trouble because he had his Three. hand around the neck. Penalty only. It is Visa who's penalized. No, it's their penalty. No, no sub for you. The 
Now it's Uganda who slow the game down. Because they are okay, five points green, ahead. Line out. Can Uganda do Kenya a favor? Do Kenya Morans a favor? Ten. And cause Ten, what will be the biggest Ten. upset of day one, for sure. Well taken. Aredo. For Casito to chase, but too far. A lovely step. Another step. And a handoff. So is Wapi. This is Champagne Rugby. What a try. This will be the try of day one if they score. So it's Wapi. I almost thought someone had pressed the post button. But no, it's a try. Now that's confidence. It's a try indeed. <laughs> That kick goes over, successful. That was a try created and fashioned out of the top draw from their 22. And that is why they're the best in the world. Cool as you like, no one panicked. Right through. Uh, on a pitch that's threatening to become a quagmire. Buck. But it's still two points in it. Uganda. 30 seconds left in this Away, game. Uganda are still not out of it. That is exactly what the doctor did not order. Because with 30 seconds left, two points behind, Uganda had an opportunity to put pressure on the South Africans. They've lost the ball. All South Africa need to do now is win the scrum. Kick the ball out. And they will win. And then proceed to give full penalty away. Tap. And after running, South Africa closing probably what is their best performance on day one. The Ugandan still come out second best in this game. Losing by 90 points to 17. This try here summed up the Gulf class tactical appreciation between these two teams. Captain Soyo Swapi. South Africa have done what needed to be done to be successful in this game. And they are top of the pool. We move on. The action doesn't stop here at the RFUA grounds because it is the defending champion Samurai taking on Western Province from South Africa. It is a lot of energy watching some of this fantastic rugby. Western province started slowly but are getting quicker and quicker. And in your picture there is Mario Wilson who was number eight for Cabra's Sugar. And he's <laughs> back in South Africa. A referee from South Africa as well. Mone Ferreira has had a very good uh, day one so far. And I'm sure he's looking to finish with a strong performance to get an allocation for some of the main cup.
matches tomorrow. So Samurai, kick off shallow and hard. Looking to get some width on the attack. You can see a lot of the players having to check with the conditions here. Smart play for some province because there was a danger of getting isolated. Wilson with a hitch kick. He was tackled and held the ball on the ground. Samurai also want to play at speed. That's a very good step. Looked high, but the referee is happy with that. Samurai in a mastering game to stay in the main cup and defend their title. That is smart play. Excellent skills. Numbers on the outside. Surely he's got to the try line. Not yet. Uh, Western Province need to be careful. Offenses like that close to the try line can sometimes lead to two minutes in the sin bin. Still samurai attack. Hitch kick. No look pass. Support needed. Went backwards, went back. Referee is happy. They play on. The power. Mugaisi almost picked that up. Their bodies all over the field. It is very heavy underfoot at the moment, and you can understand why some of the players are struggling to breathe. But also playing sevens at altitude is not easy. Many teams do struggle coming to play sevens in Nairobi. If you've seen the HSBC seven series, pretty much all the tournaments are done at sea level. And uh, this is uh, very tough for all these teams. Samurai get the free kick. They play on quickly. Well, that was a handoff. Still building patiently at the defending champions. Oh, this could be an opportunity. Not rolling away, free playing advantage. Richard Mills. Meters gained. All they have to do is move it. Had two men on the outside. Mugaisi. Surely Samurai can't butcher the try. Indeed,